burden. I saw burden by the storm. No. It's just a nightmare. A nightmare overly real. Is it because I haven't seen them for so long? Burton was the first to leave. She said she was going to talk to Madame Z about which department we would belong to. I haven't heard from her since then. Yes. Here are their background reports I wrote for your perusal. Then, Sotheby. Her boredom was swept away by the invitation. She departed in such a haste that her beloved doll was left behind on the carpet. This is Sotheby. A well-educated lady born in a traditional arcanist family. She comes from an extremely privileged background. Her family had a special influence around the world. Besides, she has limited social skills and scientific knowledge. It will be difficult to assimilate her. Compared to Sotheby, Mr. Apple was apparently not very happy to be invited. When he left, he turned a little green. Mr. Apple, under his modest and gentle appearance, lies a sharp perception by nature. Being so erudite, he always has his own views of our historical intelligence. As far as I know, he remains upset about Captain Regulus's involuntary affiliations with the Foundation. While Regulus has never been truly accepted by the Foundation, she has missed out all the education and training a member of the Foundation should have received. The influence left by the outside world on her is like a banner among the ordinary staff in the Foundation. A banner way too salient. Once the banner was held up, new arguments were raised, and thus exacerbated the factional conflict inside the Foundation. Factional conflict? There ought to be no factions in the Foundation. All of us share one common goal. You should know that well. But the conflict has been there all the time. And it only grows. <sighs> the group that believes in mankind's supremacy is splitting the Foundation's belief apart. So... Time isn't the only thing you've been observing this year. The conflicts cannot be covered by regulations anymore, Madam Z. The storm has been here for eight years. None of the people who are left behind can shake off the influence it brought. Human technologies are being reversed, while Arcanum is blooming. The unexpected first storm brought more than half of the Foundation's elite members away from us. The number of staff of the House of Integratus and the Committee cannot compare with that of their heyday, even now. In order to contend against Man's Vindicte, we have kept absorbing Arcanus from the outside world. However, the dissenting voices have only grown louder. Loud enough to be heard, and have become a faction that couldn't be shaken. The Mankind Caucus. Beyond their control, these new Arcanists only brought fear. They demand an unchallengeable power to make decisions, and a harsher control of Arcanists. Madam Z, I don't want my friends or me to be the sacrifice of this conflict, as we were four years ago. That's why you handed in the background reports of those Arcanists as the evidence for your proposition in the negotiation. Burden, what do you want? A neutral, safe, and legitimate place for us. 
What if I'm also on the side of Mankind Carcass? I don't know whose side you're on, but I believe the future you pursue doesn't end up with the Foundation being split apart by factional conflict. <sighs> That's what I learned from that stormy night. Your eyes told me. He didn't belong to that chess game. You may leave the reports. I need some time. No matter what your decision is. Thank you. <sighs> Please put me through Delegate Mark. Hey, Burton. Hello. Your friend is waiting for you in the rehab center. Mesmer Jr., remember? Let us take you there, so you guys can catch up. Miss Druvis, we are waiting for your response. Now, I am the last to be invited. Is there anything else that concerns you, Miss Druvis? When will my friends come back? They are waiting for you outside the suitcase, just as we are. All we want is an opportunity to talk to you face to face. Please wait a moment. May I ask where we are? The library. A place where people let down their guards. Trust always facilitates cooperation, don't you think? But I don't even know your name. The name is Constantine. I'm the vice president of the joint committee of the foundation. Please allow me to extend a welcome on behalf of the Foundation. We have sent this document into that suitcase days ago. I should assume that you have read it. What's your conclusion then, Ms. Weyerhauser? Are you referring to inviting Sotheby, Mr. Apple and me, to join the Foundation? 
We need to discuss this with Verton before we give you a proper response. We don't know much about the Foundation. As far as I'm concerned, I do not yet intend to join any organization. Hmm. That is to say, you are inclined to turn down my proposal. <sighs> my apologies. Verton has not only been of great help to us, but also saved us from the storm. I cannot accept the invitation without her opinion. Neither can I make decisions for others. Fair enough. You, who accidentally and rather luckily escaped from the storm in 1929, and now seek refuge from the Foundation. Weyerhaeuser, Sotheby, and Apple, you are the spire of the tower. Between you and the Foundation, the stories in the middle are our investigators who go out to rescue the wandering arcanists and humans. Burton is one of them. Merely a drop in the ocean. Verton, indeed, is the key to connect you and the Foundation. But let's not forget, only an entity as massive and powerful as the Foundation can provide you with long-lasting protection. Without the Foundation's supplies, manpower, and technology, even Burton can barely sail against the great tides of history, let alone the ordinary people whose fate is doomed to struggle in the endless hazards of time. Open your eyes and take a look. We are the unshakable fortress you should rely on. Do you still wish to talk to Verton first? <sighs> She's receiving a treatment from us. Which means she won't make it back by your side before any decision is made. <sighs> Her suitcase will also be retrieved for research purposes after the meeting. As compensation for your displacement, we will arrange you a more decent room. Miss C will show you around the headquarters tomorrow. Go walk around and meet some people. Perhaps it will help you see what the most beneficial choice to all of us would be. I will wait for your answer. But, don't keep me waiting for too long. Yes, I have received a report on the Chicago office. Well done. Good timing. Did I startle you? Considering what we've been through together, I didn't expect you to be as surprised as Miss Weyerhaeuser was. Sharon didn't tell me you're here. There's no need to tense up. I told her not to say anything. I have talked to Miss Weyerhaeuser. Everything is going well. She's gotten quite a shock. 
that little pale face, like a stressed cat. She is in dire need of comfort from a friend. What do you want me to do? To do what a good tamer would do. Reach her with a sincere, friendly gesture. Ease their pains, answer their questions, and lead them on to the right path. Of course, most importantly, make them be of use to us, to serve the course of the peace of mankind. I see. None of them has signed the agreement. But this recruitment is essential for us. For the short term and for the long run. Can you see what I am doing? Oh, and there's one more thing. Don't address her as Miss Weyerhauser. She doesn't like it. I'll take note on that. Five and two-thirds portions of silver wine, twenty drops of toad oil, and some crumbles of pure gold from Ukayali. Ingredient: the burning acid salts. <laughs> Sotheby's incredible shape-shifting potion will be done at any minute. Yeah. <laughs> 
Didn't I? <laughs> Let me see. Um, what am I now? <gasps> A coach rack? Impossible. I was expecting a movable tennis ball. Miss Sotheby? Please excuse me, but I have to open the door. <gasps> Miss Sotheby? This coat rack. Was it here before? She must still be in the room. Sotheby, you are not allowed to leave the room without permission. Please forgive me for being violent. Uh, it's the Iron Bull's fault! This is false imprisonment! I must get out of here today! Bodyguards? Bodyguards! Better tomorrow. This is classic. A sense of the distance. Bubbles reflect like mirrors, my friend. I don't know. I'll go. Potion alchemist that easily. What? What's going on? What's wrong, Miss Sotheby? Your dress is a mess. Oh, this room smells terrible. Oh, my body is back. The potion's effect wears off. Good to see you here. We must apply for more guards for this room. <laughs> 